This story going to start off, man, I'm in Jackson, Mississippi. I was down there with my cousin, man, RIP Shorty T, you know what I'm saying? I'm down there with my cousin Terrence and shit. He was a GD from Georgetown. Okay, before I went to Jackson, Mississippi, I hadn't really heard nothing about it, even though my family from Utica, I had been in Chicago all my life. So I'm going to Jackson, Mississippi, not really knowing what to expect, but I'm thinking like, man, it's just slow down here. These motherfuckers ain't on nothing for real. You know, I ain't gonna have fun for real. I was wrong as hell. So my cousin, he tell me one something. He like, man, come down here. You know what I'm saying? Cause he would always come to the city every summer. So he was like, man, one summer, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all need to come on down here, man. Like shit be popping down here too. He was like, shit, Jew. That's what they say. They don't say Joe. They say Jew and Jackson. Oh, um, well, his, in his neck of the woods, that's what they say, Jew. Come down here, Jew. I'm going to show you a good time. So, boom, fast forward. I end up going down there for the summer. So, when I first get down there, I'm noticing Jackson, Mississippi ain't nothing but black people. in this hood as hell. And it's like, I ain't running into no bloods. I ain't running into no crips. I'm only running into like GDs and vice lords. So I'm like, damn, for one, that's shopping right there. Cause you know, I ain't think it was too many, you know, vice lords and GDs outside the city. So I'm like, damn, all these niggas vice lords and GDs. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I thought I was going, I thought I was going to meet some bloods and crips, not in Jackson, Mississippi. So we get out there and shit. We chilling, he taking me different places or whatever. He introduced me to uh, some of his partners and you know what I'm saying, some of his people or whatever. He even introduced me to the dude that ended up killing him later on. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that bitch ass nigga, I hope he burned in hell. But um, actually the dude was his best friend. So one night we go to the liquor store and um, we end up Get some King Cobras. Now, if you don't know what King Cobras is, King Cobras is like, it's a it's a brand of 40. You know what I'm saying? It's a brand of like malt liquor. But, you know, in Jackson, Mississippi, they sell them in 40s. So, I knock a whole King Cobra back. Now, the King Cobra got me feeling lovely. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't really drunk for real. I said, fuck it. Let me get another King Cobra. I want to grab another King Cobra, right? But now... Before I got them grab the King Cobra, no, after I grab the King, the, uh, the second King Cobra, we go holler at some little chicks or whatever. Now, these little chicks, they stay going. The one I had was super bad. We get to the room where they posted up at, she super digging a nigga. Like, she on a nigga hard or whatever. But by this time, I done drunk like half the King, the second King Cobra, so I'm sweating. I'm really starting to feel this motherfucker now. Like, it's kicking in now. But, you know, I still ain't, at this point, I still ain't, you know, feeling too drunk. I'm just feeling real good. But I just started sweating now. I'm coming out of my clothes. We chilling in the room. How about, man, I get to kissing on this chick. She get to kissing on me. You know, all us in the same room now. But it's like, it's like probably about four of us. And it's probably like three chicks. Man. Next thing I know, I just threw up all over the chick. Oh. I throw up everywhere, throw up everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Really all on her for real, so she mad. She get mad, all of them get mad. Boom, we gotta go, so we get kicked out of there. So, I throw up a couple times. If anybody don't know this, the way you get, you know, you may not get back sober, but the way you get back, back right, for me, for my personal understanding is, go ahead and throw up, go ahead and make yourself throw up and get that shit out your system, you know what I'm saying? You, you'll end up catching alcohol poisoning too. If you um if you ingest too much alcohol, but um so boom, I'm throwing up or whatever. So we end up going to this other little spot. Now, mind you, I had never been to no brothel. Only thing I've been to is like crack houses and shit like that. Then I'm young, so I ain't never been to no strip club or nothing like that. This was the first place that I had ever been to where anything really goes. He took us to a three story house. First floor, first floor. Second floor, uh, basement. Listen, when we walk in there, you got females over here getting down. You got niggas over here shooting dice. We go up the stairs. 
You got motherfuckers up there getting down. You got motherfuckers snorting powder. Motherfuckers smoking crack. We go to the basement. I'm talking about the same thing. Like, it's like a real live anything goes brothel. You got chicks walking around butt naked. You know what I'm saying? Some of them ain't, some of them ain't in nothing. Some of them just got on brown panties. So it's really going down right here. You know what I'm saying? So we chill over there for a good little minute or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We do our thing or whatever. And, uh, man, at this time, I'm probably like, I'm probably like maybe 15, 14. I'm 15 at the most. I'm like either 14 or 15. But I'm 15 at the most. Man, listen. I had never seen so much shit go on. Not even in Chicago. And like, we in a brothel or whatever. So everybody just doing their thing. Now at this time, I ain't doing nothing but smoking weed and drinking and shit like that, man. Like, man, we had the time of our life. And the women down in Jackson, Mississippi, they like real aggressive. If they feeling you, see, like women in, in Alabama, they ain't really like that. They might just be looking at you or they might send their friend over to holler at you, whatever, but they ain't aggressive for real. Like, they'll let you get away. Women in Chicago and women in Mississippi, they not going to let you get away. Like, especially in Jackson. Like, if they feeling you, they going to let it be known. They might pull up and try to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's another thing I noticed when I was down there. Also, Jackson, Mississippi, they do some real gang banging in Jackson, Mississippi. Like, real talk. And they'll do that to you. When I was down there, um, a dude had walked into the club or whatever with an AK. Shot about 20, 30 people in that motherfucker. Like, just went in there and let go. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely don't think Jackson, Mississippi straight. And they got a part of town. Um, I know it's GDs over there, but I think it's some Vice Lords, too. It's actually where David Banner is from called Vern Edition. If you go to Jackson, Mississippi, don't go to Vern Edition. Like, Vern Edition is... It's like it's like a street. Vern Edition is like the worst neighborhood in Jackson, Mississippi. If you from there or if you ever been there, then you probably know about Vern Edition. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, it's kind of like the first place I ever went to where I expected one thing but got a whole different outcome. You know what I'm saying? The moral of this story is, man, never judge a book by its cover. Never go on what somebody say or what you think for, you know, for that matter. Always investigate it or check into it yourself, man. Straight up. It's your boy SN. I'm out.